All right, well, I'm getting ready to paint this. So here's what it looks like before that happens. So I got all the undercoating wire wheeled off and I've wiped it down twice with uh, wax and grease remover. And then down in this area, I originally had welded all this from the top, but since this is a, you know, real structural area where all the force that the wheel is trying to exert on the car, either to accelerate or decelerate, acts in this area, I wanted to make sure that this bracket was tied in well to both the rocker and the subframe rail. So I came under here and welded all these from underneath too. So it's not pretty, but it's in there and I got all the seams cleaned out so that's all good and then here in the trans tunnel it's the same deal got it all cleaned out up just past that seam a little bit more ugly weld but it ought to be fine I only found one problematic spot of rust. You couldn't even tell that it was that there was rust going on underneath the undercoat. Everything looked fine under the car. As soon as I knocked that undercoat off, you could see that it was that moisture was getting under it and that eventually it would have rotted out that seam just like how it did in all these other places we I've had to fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray all the metching or uh, metal etching stuff on there. And hopefully I can get this painted by the end of the day. Putting on the Pore 15 actual paint, uh, I'm using this metal etching rust neutralizing stuff that they also sell. So I've never used it before, but they recommend using it just to deal with any rust that's still there. So I just got it in a spray bottle here. So I'm just going to spray it on everything and then we'll see how that goes. And I think it's got to dry for like 20 or 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll put the paint on. All right, so here's what we're looking at before paint. So stripping off uh, the undercoating and all the crap that was in here seemed to be a pretty good call because just like that picture earlier where I found some rust under the undercoat in a seam that you couldn't see, 
you know, otherwise. Uh, I found another spot like that under the car. And then inside the car, you know, also couldn't tell that there was any rust until I started knocking everything off. Uh, that one I found, this rust hole I found whenever I was stripping the underside of the car. And then whenever I was stripping the inside of the car, I found this little guy. Which is what I got cut out earlier. And the reason I that it was a good call to strip out the inside of the car too is I didn't find that one from underneath the car because that one is inside the subframe just like that one. So it's pretty much right at the edge, but the edge of the subframe is right there. But I got all that fixed. Uh, so that's the white residue that that metal prep stuff leaves. There's all that. There wasn't any patching I had to do on this side, it was just the driver's side. And so, I don't know, may have screwed myself, I guess time will only tell. But that metal etching stuff is supposed to be washed off with water, right? And what I did, both on the underside and what I'm about to do now, is I just took a rag, I let it dry, and then I took a rag and wiped it off with wax and grease remover and did that, you know, three times to try and, you know, get any residue off. And I guess if I, I mean, I'd already had the stuff and already had it poured out, so I used it. But if I would have read the instructions first, I might not have used it because I don't know uh, what the consequences of not washing it off with water is, you know, is gonna be. And I didn't wash it off with water because, I mean, this car doesn't need help rusting. I mean, there's no way I can rinse all this off and not get water in the subframe, which would be a problem. I don't want to get any I don't want to get any moisture in the subframe because it's already having issues, clearly. And I don't want to get a bunch of water in here and have to worry about that. So I don't know. We'll just see. Time will tell how this works out. <laughs> 